former Port Authority official David Wildstein pleaded guilty today to his role of closing local access lanes on the George Washington Bridge. The closure of local lanes and the reduction of toll booths led to major traffic problems for Fort Lee residents in September 2013. All of this was revealed to be retribution for Mayor Mark Sokolich after he refused to support Governor Chris Christie in his re-election campaign. It was here at a federal court in Newark that earlier today, Wildstein admitted to blocking traffic lanes on the first day of school to maximize punishment for the Fort Lee mayor. Today, Sokolich called the act venomous, calculated, and despicable. Findings from today also claim that Wildstein, along with alleged accomplices Bill Baroni and Bridget Kelly, used the code word radio silence in ignoring pleas for help from the mayor. Wildstein's lawyer had this to say. Mr. Christie knew of the lane closures while they were occurring, and evidence exists to establish that. Governor Christie struck back in a tweet just after the hearing, saying that he had no knowledge or involvement in the planning or execution of this act. I am relieved that someone stood up and accepted responsibility. This is a black eye on representative democracy. Wildstein, who continues to cooperate with the government, is scheduled to be sentenced on August 6th. Grace Lee, Columbia News Tonight.